You know, you guys could do screenshots of the last month. Probably not even that long. And watch the slow deterioration of the cherry tree. <laughs> Man, there she is all on the ground. Look, all the beautiful colors out there in the tree farm are gone. Kai Kai's hanging out in the barn. She says, eh, not so much rain today. I'm not in it. But she does like to stand in the rain. She always has. She's a goofball. But anyway, welcome to, it is Tuesday, November 10th of uh, 2020. I got one part of my iPhone 12 Max, my uh, leather MagSafe case is out for delivery at the moment, so I get the stare. It's funny, every year I end up with the leather case oh, yeah. before I end up with the phone. I know it. So I get to stare at the case and go, hmm, what's, what's it going to be like to have the phone in it? <laughs> the phone's yeah, supposed to be that. Friday. They're still guaranteeing Friday, but it hasn't shipped. And the Apple store is under maintenance. Oh, so no. I looked right before I went, I said, dang it, let's come back in a few minutes. <laughs> well, I want to know right now, where's yes. my daggum phone? Well, you're is <laughs> Our poor old cherry tree mama. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just be twigs out there. It will be very pretty in the spring. Oh, yeah. She'll come back bigger and better. Prettier. Yes. <laughs> All right. Said so. Sounds good. Look what a difference a day made in this little stretch. It is all but gone. Just yesterday, I was complaining about how much was gone. That's it, Mama. It's all right. It's kind of like hitting a reset button every year. Yeah. You come out the next spring all fresh and yeah. hopeful of the new year. <laughs> I was hopeful for 2020 until, well, yeah. didn't quite work out, did it? Mad dog. Yeah, mad dog. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> mad dog 2020. That's never good. Yep. Like Kelly just said, we're literally in the eye of the storm. She was looking at radar before we left. She goes, Literally, we are in the eye of the storm. It's not really a storm, it's just a no. hole in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Used to the mountains is getting way laid in snow. Nice. Yep. Here comes the snowmobile sales. Oh, yeah. I'll be seeing them things loading up in that back parking lot like kids coming in for one cent candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there, little woman. This little man. It was kind of wet. Not really dry bad. Here. Yeah, right. it is drier here. At least it's not pouring down rain. But it never did really pour. So there's a yeah. couple of spots that got a little. <laughs> yeah, where a, a huge rain thing must have passed because it was yeah. a lot of floating water. Floating. Yeah. All right, Mama. All right. Have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. All right. So you see you bye. Bye <laughs> bye. bye bye. You guys remember the last time I serviced and test rode this thing? There was a buzz under the tank and I told you it was the ECM. That's crazy, he rides this thing, this is his new, his new filter, his old ones in there. He rides this thing enough. <laughs> it seems like I'm always putting air filters in it, but they're cheap and they filter so well and they seal really well. But anyway, uh, I told you there's a way you put the ECM in and if you're not, or DME, BMW calls it, if you're not careful, you can get it in there wrong. Uh, these little rubber oops, these little rubber tabs, top and bottom. It's hard to hold the camera where I'm at. That needs to precisely slide in that little groove right there. And if you get it off, the ECM buzzes in there because it it pinches in in between those rubbers and in that in the metal tabs, and then it bolts down up front. That's actually the tank. This is for the DME. And the reason that NICs, BMW wants, they always put NICs on their on their front bolt, whether it's GS, doesn't matter, always have NICs. 
and be leery of that because you can get anti-seize on your hand and then next thing you know it's all over the bike and that's not fun to clean up the fork seal did not show up today it looks like it's going to be here tomorrow so i got a bike that's down and out Dad, damn it um other problem it's not a problem it's just a, a pricing see i have to rig this thing up this thing is designed to have a scissor jack slide into it and then it has what they call extensions that that bolt to the bottom of the scissor jack and cast it out and makes a really wide footprint the jack alone is almost 600 bucks and then the extensions are like two fit it's a thousand bucks for the two extensions and the scissor jack that's probably why they never ordered it and you gotta rig this janky thing up these are spider alignment bars and then a, a two by four the jack can be the stand can be modified but it takes some heavy cutting equipment and essentially you ruin it for what it's designed to do because it locks down to the scissor jack so everything's everything's locked down like right now i could slide this thing and it could potentially fall off of that thousand bucks that's why we don't have it and probably never will get it they're never going to pay a thousand bucks for a scissor jack so here we go doing a janky hookup like this <laughs> and in the winter time yeah they're not going to be interested in buying expensive tools why that wasn't auto ship they auto ship all these cool stands and they're timed in a way that it lifts the bike like i was telling you last night it lifts it almost like a hoist and we got tons of those things. We even just received the stuff for the R18 as well. So it's not like it wouldn't get used a lot. Anyway, finish up. I need to change the oil. The oil would go past that, that engine stand. But the scissor jack I have underneath there is going to pour right on top of it. That, and I need to ride it and get it warm to do it. I, I don't like ever doing a cold oil change so that's where i'm at at the moment if it ever dries out i got that r18 i put that thing together last week and never even test rode it and look who else is still hiding down here <laughs> yeah i torture myself with this thing by leaving it down here it'd be really nice for that thing to be sitting in my shop maybe even nicer for it not to be a demo and to be mine but uh kelly kind of cringes over that idea especially this time of year i was going all back together everything's going cool and then the fedex truck backed up to the door out there this is like the yearly iphone curse i always get the case before i get the phone <laughs> the phone will be here Hold on a second. Yeah. Pop her out of there. The phone will be here on Friday. But look at the. Uh, I'm watching because uh, some of the um, influencers have, you know, they get sent out the phones early to do reviews. So on, you know, the release date, not order date, but the release date was yesterday for the phone where you can go into a store and grab it or whatever. Somebody has it. Best Buy, AT&T, Verizon, whoever you go through. But um, anyway, I seen, if you look at Apple, well, that's kind of the picture you see on Apple's website. Don't even realize that there's this bulge. But looking at their reviews, the cameras, because they're much larger in the Max than, than all the other phones, the largest cameras they've ever put in a in a phone. But yeah, she's got a little raised extra bul bulges there there's the mag safe little magnet thing which makes it nice because the case you don't have to wedge this is my iphone 10 i got my 11 pro in, in my bag over there but you the old way of having to wedge it in and you're always turning it on you got to be careful that you don't set off the sos and all that stuff this one just kind of slips in and pops down but um the reviews I've been listening to, they like that the case is very 
clicky, which this one had separate buttons and they're very, I mean, have a very tactile feel to them. I don't remember how my 11 Pro was. Here we are, fancy case, no phone to go in it. Little instructions how you do it. Isn't that cute? I love that keep it simple dummy thing approach that Apple has to everything. Sometimes a little too simple, but that's all right. Cool. Love my Apple leather cases. And this thing's what, five years old now? Four or five years old? And she's been dropped. She's got some dings here and there. Bulletproof. And just that fantastic feel of that leather in your hand. It's been wet. It's been through everything. She's a tough old gal. I still love my small phone. If the smaller 12 Pro had the same cameras and the, you know, the sensor shifting image stabilization and all the cool stuff, I like it when they make the top phone, the premium phone. Last couple of years, basically, you just got a bigger screen and a bigger battery. That was it. The cameras were the same. In the old days, the pluses, you know, you got a little better camera. And then there was a deal where you got the dual camera with like the iPhone 7 Plus. But if you bought the regular iPhone 7, you just got the one camera. Cool stuff. Geeky, I know, but I love it. <laughs> The GM was down here, I, he was busy and I had a question for him and so he come down and see what it was. And um, anyway, we're talking about this. He says, order that jack, that scissor jack. So I go upstairs, I showed him all the different tools that we have in there that use and utilize this thing, including the new R18. There's no, there's no center stand, there's no, that is the stand you use to hold this thing upright. So if we had to change a tire or something on one of these things, we're doomed. <laughs> so I'll go up there and Kelly goes, she goes, really? I go, she goes, that thing's expensive. Why no? It's, it's a tool you gotta have. Leave it to BMW to make it so only their scissor jack fits in there. <laughs> but at any rate, she plugs the thing in to order it. It's back ordered. Ah, dang it shows 38 of them or 19 i think it's 19 of no 38 of them in germany there's just none of them in the states but at least there's hope at least it's coming um this is a nice gentleman and follower he's uh from idaho and uh he called up our, our service department and scheduled some work to be done on it in the service alignment in uh in the worst way tires holy moly <laughs> that's pretty cool though it's got some crazy speakers i've seen those pods on there before man that's got to be loud look at this this is one of the original uh 2008s number 26 jay leno has number one that's pretty cool that's a special spider right there and even bought the, uh, it's got the Can-Am Hindle exhaust, the, uh, uh, Jeevo bags. Jibby. I never know how to pronounce that. And when you ask, everybody's got their own way of doing it. But, uh, he was in the military and, uh, only has use of his right leg. So he got some floorboards. But look at this for people like myself. And maybe him as well. It's got the little kickers back there, so you can use uh, use it like a normal spider. The pegs are right in the location where the stock pegs were, and this is the stock super low bars. That thing's nice. Number twenty six of all the spiders ever built. That thing had no idea when that went down the twenty six unit down the line. What would become of Can-Am Spiders? That's pretty impressive right there. One of the things I forgot to show you <laughs> when I was telling you about the scissor jack, this is probably gonna freak the white balance out. But this, this is what it looks like 
installed on the S1000, that would be the same on the older RRs, the R, and the XR. But there's the scissor jack and the two extensions. And that will lift that bike straight up off the ground and hold it. We're not getting the extensions. He goes, dude, 500 bucks for those things. Do you really have to have them? I go, no, I don't, I don't need to lift the whole bike like that. So we're going to do the scissor jack first. We'll talk about the extensions later. So here we are. It's on its way, even though it's back ordered. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it showed an ETA or whatever, but heck yeah, man. That'll come in really handy. We got a lot of, a lot of stands and tools that use that that use that scissor jack. So it'll be nice to have. Amazing the difference clear skies make. Yeah. I mean, there's storms all around us, <laughs> but there's a big old clear spot right there. Yeah, Looks like we're leaving like a half hour early or something, doesn't I it? I know it. All right, let's roll out there, Mama. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> We're kind of backed in towards the house here. We got frozables and all kinds of stuff. And uh, just getting kind of stocked up for the rest of the week so we don't make multiple. Yeah. We always end up making multiple stops. I know. So we're just going, made our little made list, list and so went in there and tackled it. Yeah. But, man, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was a off and on wet. There was a point right at the end of the day where it was dry enough I could have taken that because I never test rode the R18 that I put together last week it's just been sitting down there and um, I took the GSA upstairs they were going through and uh, doing videos or something on them so I knew they were gonna freak out where's that bike and come running down so I thought well I'll be proactive here and I'll take it upstairs and then I get it up there and go whoa we don't do that one. I just did the GS 40 year version. He goes, that looked too much like the other one. I'm like, dude, I gotta left it down there. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope that we'll get a good supply. We still don't know how many of those we're gonna get. That was one of the auto ship ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we don't know. Don't know. I'm hoping there'll be enough quantity of them though. I might be able to sneak one of those out as a demo. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, man, I love that thing. It's very good. Yeah. Everybody was oodling all over it. I just kind of parked it in the middle of the showroom, and all of a sudden, there's a crowd. Yeah. Everybody calls it the bumblebee. It does look like a little yeah. bumblebee. Love that thing. But uh, anyway, got to get the girls and get the frozables in and got stuff to do. Start the vlog building session. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. You guys, oh, you, oh, you can't see the barn. The barn, the oh. red barn is literally right there. I'm back yeah. in, like I'm in towards the front yard. That way we can open the door and run across. But yeah. now the rain stopped. Of course. So that'd be a good time to let the girls go run around yeah, for a little bit. Good too. time to get the stuff in the house. Yep. All right. We're going to go. Bye. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching.